Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today I'm super excited because we are actually doing a five creator YouTube collaboration video. I've got guys from four other YouTube channels and we are all talking about the same topic. We actually did a whole series of these videos. I will put links in the description below if you wanna go check them out. Also at the end of the video, I'll link to a couple of them as well. So definitely if you wanna check them out, go check out the other guys' videos as well because we're all touching on different topics and kind of giving our own opinion. So you're gonna get five opinions in a really short, quick little video. So on today's collaboration video, we are actually going to be talking about the types of trips that we like to take. So, you know, if you are newer to overlanding, if you're very experienced with overlanding, we all kind of go overlanding in our own way, right? There's actually been a lot of debate about this on online forums and Facebook groups and things like that, where people say, well, that's not real overlanding or that's just car camping or whatever, right? Um, and kind of all of our opinion, overlanding is what you make of it, right? So we all wanted to talk about what types of trips we take and why we take those types of trips, right? What are our restrictions? What are our, our desires? What are our, the, the reasons that we want to go on those types of trips? So let's start with the types of trips that I like to take. Um, I'm a father of two. I live in Indiana, um, kind of near Indianapolis. So like I, I have a lot of restrictions. I have a couple kids. I've got a wife. I've got a full-time job. Um, I do have a YouTube channel though, so I really, really like overlanding. I'm really into it, so I try and go as much as possible, but I'm still very much restricted to weekends. Um, and only when available, right? Like if the kids have sports, if I need to help around the house, if there's stuff I need to do, then I'm not getting a trip. So honestly, if I'm lucky, I may get a trip once a month, once every two months, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, generally a weekender, maybe an overnighter a lot of the times. So I'd say maybe in like a year, I probably take six to eight overnighters and maybe like four to six two to five nighters. Um, maybe one of those is that longer four or five night trip and the bulk of the rest of them are maybe a two night type of trip. Um, again, the reason for that is just family restrictions, responsibilities with jobs and things like that. So probably pretty similar to a lot of you guys that follow my channel. Um, that's why I kind of have coined the term or, or I've called myself, I've heard it before, it's not something I made up, um, a weekend warrior type overlander. So that's kind of my style. Um, I also kind of enjoy it because then it, it keeps it fresh. It's not, you know, when you're out in the wilderness for several days at a time, you got to deal with a lot more stuff like showers and, you know, re replenishing food. If you're running a cooler instead of a fridge, getting ice, restocking food, there's a lot of stuff that you kind of have to deal with when you get into the longer term trips. There's a lot of excitement with that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying it's kind of easier sometimes to just go out and enjoy for a day or two at a time. So that's another reason why I do it. Um, so those are the types of trips that I like to take when I go overlanding. Two to five days is about the magical point for me. All right, so anyways, let's go see what Will from Venture to Rome has to say. He has an amazing channel with tons of drone footage, amazing footage of Idaho and Oregon. Um, if you're into like epic trip videos, you should definitely check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description down below. Um, but let's see what he has to say about the types of trips he takes. I'm Will from Venture to Rome, and on this channel, we do epic adventures in the American Mountain West. We do gear reviews and installs, and we do some creative stuff when it comes to celebrating the overlanding lifestyle. So if you have a chance to come check out our channel, I'd really appreciate it. But today, I'm going to talk to you about how we travel. So we live in Boise, Idaho. Boise is an awesome place because we are so close to the mountains, to the desert, to rivers, um, to other states. So we get the best of Idaho, we get the best of Oregon, we get some of Nevada, we're close to Utah. Just a ton of stuff to explore that's literally in some cases right outside our house, our, our front door. So the place that I'm sitting um, here now is about an hour from our front door. And as the crow flies, it's about six miles from our house. And so because of that, we largely do weekend trips. So we're like weekend overlanders for the most part. We're weekend warriors. Here's, here's what we like about weekend overlanding. One is we get in a ton of trips. We get in a ton of trips because we're, we can get out and back in a weekend really, really quickly. We don't have to travel a long distance to get someplace. If we did, we might go less frequently, but for longer periods of time. The other thing that I, I think I really love about the weekend warrior style of overlanding is that it allows us to, in a very, very short amount of time, completely detach from our connected lives, our work lives, our social lives, all of those things. We can, in a weekend, get away recharge, be someplace where there's no one around for tens and tens and tens of miles. And that is a really special thing to us. And so that's why we, we will keep doing it. Even if we had more time, we would probably still keep doing weekend trips. So one of the things that I don't like about the weekend warrior approach is that um, you don't get a chance to really, really sink into the groove of a long overlanding trip. On the weekend, it's like, we're starting an adventure and it's over and it's over. When you do a longer trip, it's like, we're starting it, we're in the middle, and, and your experience kind of changes throughout. 
The other thing that I don't like about the, the weekend approach is that um, you really have to figure out your Friday night. We only got two nights. Do you want to have like the best possible campsites? Getting everyone together, planning what that first meal is going to be, where the first campsite is going to be, it takes a lot of effort. And I know I just said that we like doing that, which we do, um, but there are times when it would be nice to not have a, that like quite so much pressure on that Friday night. The last thing that maybe I don't like about the weekend overlanding trip um, style is that, you know, I'm not sure it's really overlanding. It's like car camping at a few different spots over the weekend. And so I feel like there's some street cred that maybe is lost, even though like I don't really care about that, but it's nice to not be open for criticism, even though I know you can't stop the trolls. In summary, I say do whatever you can, when you can, with what you have, and just start somewhere. All right, thanks for that, thanks. Will. So next up, we have Gary, AKA G from BC. He is from British Columbia. He has some amazing trips. He has amazing scenery. I'm super jealous of where he lives versus where I live. Um, but you definitely need to check his channel out if you like some awesome, awesome British Columbia Canadian overlanding. Hey guys, Gary here from G from BC. My channel is mainly about off-roading, overlanding and going outdoors here in British Columbia, Canada. The types of trips I go to mainly are day trips and overnighters. Reason being is everything's kind of opening up over here in British Columbia and work is getting busy and everything else. So that's the only thing I'm left with. But like I said, it's gonna be changing since I'm going full time with uh, YouTube. One thing I like about uh, day trips and overnighters is that I get to go home the same day or the next day and I'm back to my bed, my comfortable, bed where I can just sleep um, you know comfortably one thing I don't like about day trips or overnighters is the fact that I don't get to explore further out on remote places I for one would like to go out further and longer on trips so that's kind of like the drawback when it comes to just the day trips and the overnighters final thoughts honestly it doesn't really matter if you go there on a day trip overnight a couple of days you know, straight nomad and just, you know, roaming the, uh, you know, the earth, uh, exploring it. It doesn't really matter as long as you're going out there and experiencing the beauty of nature. Personally for me, that's why I go out there. But yeah, that will do it for my time here, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. Link is down below. Stay awesome. All right, so that was Gary. And up next, we've got Matt from Simply Must Go. His channel is amazing, filled with tons of awesome gear reviews, trip videos, you know, tons of cool stuff. He's got an awesome old YJ that's like Jurassic Parked out. So you definitely need to check out his channel as well. But let's see what he has to say about his type of trips that he takes. Hey Fletch, thank you so much for having me on your channel. My name is Matt Brody with Simply Must Go. And the kind of trips that we do are typically the weekend warrior style trips. So we'll leave on a Friday after work and come back on a Sunday afternoon. Every now and then we run a long weekend, so we might take a Monday off or a Friday off and make it an extended weekend trip. But that's generally the kind of trips we do. Now I got into overlanding about a year ago, so I'm pretty new at this still, but I got into it because I just had this longing to get out and explore the world around me. And so after I got my Jeep, I decided that that was the perfect vehicle for me to get out hit some trails, do some exploring, and see parts of South Carolina in particular that I'd never really seen before. And the nice thing about South Carolina, particularly where I'm located in Columbia, which is sort of the middle of the state, we're about two hours from the coast and about two hours from the mountains. So it's really not that far to get to either one. So we've got a variety of scenery and locations that we can head to within a very short period of time. One of the downsides to that is that South Carolina doesn't have a lot of trails and doesn't have a lot of natural camping sites. We do, however, have several national forests. So we have the Sumter National Forest, which encompasses a lot of the upper part of the state. And then we have the Francis Marion National Forest, which is down towards the coast. Now with those, there's a trail system that's recently been created called the SCAR. And that stands for the South Carolina Adventure Route. And that's about 1100 mile loop around South Carolina that covers dirt, gravel, sand, mud, and a variety of scenery from the coast to the mountains. So I actually started my overlanding adventures by doing that route, and it's been a ton of fun. Now, like I said, I'm a weekend warrior, and part of the reason for that is I've got a big family. We're actually a blended family. So my wife and I have four kids, and with that, we have a lot of kid things going on around the weekends. So we've got sporting events, and we've got sleepovers, and birthday parties, and all that kind of stuff that 
kids have to do. And so our ability to get out on the weekends is somewhat limited. So we might often only get out once, if we're lucky, maybe twice a month. But that's enough to sort of rejuvenate the soul, if you will. So, you know, we're stuck in our nine to five jobs. And then this is something that we can really look forward to. And by the time we're done with these kind of trips, our cup is filled and I get home and I'm a better husband, I'm a better father, I'm better at my job because I've been able to sort of fill my cup up over that weekend, get out, explore nature, uh, be in God's creation and have a lot of fun. So like most of you, I wish I could do this a lot more than I actually do, but I have a ton of fun going out and doing it when I can. So if you're interested in watching any of my videos or particularly my series on the SCAR, uh, there'll be a link for that down below in the description, but I look forward to seeing you on my channel. Fletch, thank you so much for having me. It was great to be here. All right, so thanks for that, Matt. Up next, we've got Braxton from Welcome to the Outdoors. His channel is, again, amazing. He's just got tons of video about overland expos that he's been to, tons of trip videos. He's a really talented videographer. So if you're looking for high quality video, um, tons of, you know, experiential type stuff because he's always traveling, you definitely need to check out his channel. Link in the description below. But let's see what Braxton has to say about the types of trips that he takes. Hey guys, my name is Braxton and my channel is called Welcome to the Outdoors, where we focus on everything related to living on the road. I'm currently living full-time on the road, so my types of trips vary. The trips I go on are typically with other people and then I'm documenting their story of their trip that they're doing. The length of these trips will vary based on who I'm traveling with. Some people are weekend warriors while others are full-time. I like these trips because I get to hang out with friends and also meet new people. What I don't like about these trips is that I typically ride passenger, so I don't have my own rig, I don't have any of my stuff with me besides my filming equipment. I have to rely on other people and like other people's rigs when I don't have my own stuff and I can just do it myself. I have to ask other people for help. The reason why I do ride passenger on these trips is because it's a lot easier for me to film other people. I don't have to worry about driving. I don't have to worry about my own rig and where that's going. I can just focus on filming what's going on in front of me. While I'm not on any of these kinds of trips, I'm typically traveling from trip to trip or between events. But I'm also working on vlogging myself and including myself in these videos since a lot of the focus is going to be on this van. So stay tuned for future videos with me in the van. And again, my name is Braxton and welcome to the outdoors. All right guys, so that was the video. Um, again, I think it's really cool. I love this idea of like bringing multiple creators together into a you know jam-packed sort of short episode like this where they can all kind of give their ideas and you guys get a ton of value out of one short video. Um, again, we did several of these. There's a whole series. I will link to the rest of these videos down below so that you can go check out the rest of them. Um, if you don't see all of them, it's because some of them are coming out after my video. So once they're up, I will update the description so they'll be there if you're watching this at a later time. Um, but again, thanks for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel and you're into overlanding, do-it-yourself modifications, budget type stuff, weekend warrior trips. If you're into any of that stuff, then this would be a great channel for you to subscribe to. Just click that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I actually do a couple videos a week. I do one on a Sunday that's more of like a vlog slash podcast talking about overlanding in general. And I also do a podcast that comes out every single week. So if you're more into podcasts than YouTube, definitely go search up uh, all things overlanding on your favorite podcast channel. There will also be a link in the description below to that. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a Patreon page where we've got a small group of, of cool guys that are really into overlanding we're trying to organize some meetups we've got a discord so if you want to hang out and chat 24 7 that's available as well and then last but not least the newbie overlanders facebook group uh, totally free to join tons of members growing every day uh, so looking forward to seeing you there hopefully if you got value out of the video click that like button if you've got any feedback or you've got anything that you think about this topic i'd love to hear what kind of trips you like to take post up in the comments down below um, but again thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time